best time to replace coping and tile? Is it at the end of the season when the water is low or just before opening? I'm always concerned with too much algae growing either way while the work is being done and water can't circulate. Also, does it make sense to replace the coping and tiles in a pool that's 30 years old? The concrete looks fine, um, but there was a patch done maybe 25 years ago. I've owned the home for 20 years. I've never repaired the concrete. So does it even make sense to re replace tile and coping? So my suggestion would be if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's kind of the first thing. If there's nothing wrong with it other than it being dated, I would be more likely to suggest that you keep it. Now, if your coping is loose, if your tile is falling off, if there's something dangerous uh, as a result of those things, I would say it needs to be done. But if the tile is still in good shape and the coping is still on the pool and not moving, probably not the best thing to do is tear it off. And here's why. As product, as concrete, and the cement, which is the binder that holds the concrete together. As the years have gone on, the quality has come down. And likely it's the demand is so high for Portland cement that the drying process, the curing process when they're making it isn't being adhered to or something. But we've certainly noticed that over the last 30 and 40 years, the quality of the end result cement product is not as good. And I'd hate for you to spend all this money stripping off this perfectly good tile and perfectly good coping just to get a fresh look to have it all start falling off in five years so first case best case leave it you could always do something to it if you wanted to make the coping look better there are some stains and acid stains and paints that could be to bring it back to life and make it look a little nicer um, that would be the suggestion though is if it's not fallen off don't take it off you add you add not only in the removal process you add a whole bunch of risks of damage to the beam underneath if it's been on there that long it's not going to come off very easy if it's not going to come off very easy it's likely going to start breaking things getting it out of there and now you have a whole nother mess so leave it